just a lot. Just, just honestly, I'm just super thankful and grateful to to be in this moment and to have that energy. Like this fan base is truly special. I've played in this league for a while now, and to have a fan base that shows up like that before the game, during the game, it's it's truly incredible and special. So. I get the chills when I walk out there before the game, and I love to kind of take that all in. That's why we, we work as hard as we do is to be in these moments, and I just love to give that, that energy and that love back to the fans. Like I said, they get there super early, and I can feel the passion from them the second I step out of that dugout, so I want them to know that I love it. Um, I love it all from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, these are the moments. These are hard to replicate. It's the opening days, the playoffs, the the, the 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 certain amount of times you really just kind of want to take it in. I feel like I've been better about that recently. I feel like in my past, my life has just been so go go go, and I really don't get to reflect or kind of take in these special moments. So I'm, I'm I'm very grateful and thankful to have been in this moment, to have the opening day start, to go out there and get the win in front of an incredible home crowd. I'm 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 just excited and happy to be here, to be honest. And the team played an incredible game all around. Um, I think you see the, the, the new guys flashing the leather in the infield, how much confidence that gives guys. And I love our group of guys, truly. So just excited for this year. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I, I feel like anytime I can get anybody on the ground, I'm going to have a good opportunity to get them out because that's a pretty, pretty dynamic middle infield. So. My goal was to get Rowdy on the ground there. You know what I mean? I probably had an opportunity to punch him out, but I was thinking more just get him on the ground. And I was able to do that. And once I, I saw it being hit at Nico, I, I had the utmost confidence in me that it was going to be rolled. So, like I said, those are two very, very special guys to have, especially to have Nico, who's a, one of the best defensive shortstops in the league. Now he shifts over to second. That just shows you how, how incredible that, that up-the-middle defense is. What's your take on being the first guy to get whistled for a pitch clock violation in, in the major league? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's a, it's tough, man. It's tough, this pitch clock. It's a big adjustment. I don't think people really realize, like, it just adds a whole nother layer of thinking. You got to be conscious of the clock. You got to be looking at the clock. You're trying to worry about the pitch. You're trying to worry about the guys on base. You're trying to worry about your grip. You're trying, there's so many things going on now. So it's, it's it definitely adds another layer to the game that's, that's tough, to be honest with you. And it's def definitely not easy to be a pitcher out there and to feel rushed at times. Watch, watching you, it was, it was hard to tell it affected you at all. I mean, did you just kind of, like, yeah, I don't show anything ever. Like nothing's ever really gonna show as far as me. But yeah, I do feel super rushed at times. Like very, even in between innings, I'm running out there very early to warm up in between. Um, foul ball, com something comes off. You can't even have the time to rub the ball up. Like I'm a big breather as well, and I feel like sometimes I'm not able to really catch my breath or take my proper breathing um, that I do before every pre-pitch. So it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely another dynamic that's gonna it's gonna be tough on some guys. How much are you watching? I watch it, yeah. I'm very conscious of it. So as I'm looking at the hitter, I'm also like in my peripheral, I can see it. So I'm watching the pitch clock count down. Sometimes I'm holding till one second. Sometimes I'm going quick. So it's a it's a whole nother it's a whole nother element that's pretty tough to be honest. Yeah, but I'm also someone who who's able to step off the mound and breathe when I need to, and I don't have the opportunity to do that anymore. And I think breathing is is very important to aligning the body and putting yourself in a perfect position to deliver the ball to the plate. And like I said, I think it's messing up a lot of guys' pre pre pitch routines, which can ultimately affect how they pitch as well. There's, there's been a lot of curiosity about what this team can be. At. What do you see today? What have you seen throughout the course of the spring that gives you hope for for what's to come this season? Yeah, go ahead. But what did you see throughout the throughout today, throughout the course of the season, that kind of gives you hope for for this season? Oh, I mean, I I I had all the confidence and faith coming into this season because I knew the group of guys we had last year. We played really good baseball at the end of last year, and then we added um, a bunch of guys: Dansby, obviously Belly, Trey, uh, Talion. So I knew we were going to be in a great position to go out there and win games. Like I said, I don't I don't have a single ounce of doubt in this team. I'm just excited to go out there and show people what we could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel great. I think WBC was huge for me too. Um, you're playing playoff games in March, so that kind of kick-started me as far as intensity level and getting my mechanics where they needed to be at a high intensity level. So I think the, the normal spring training definitely helps be able to get in a groove. Um, and then, like I said, WBC has always been huge for me. I feel like it just jump-starts me into the season. Yeah, Jed said this morning that uh, he thinks that pitching and defense can, can make 
this team a contender? You know, there is going to be a lot of, it seems like if you're going to do well, it's a lot of rides on the starting rotation. Do you think you guys can be that good to, you know, help push these guys? In? I mean, yeah, I don't I don't like to talk about anything, but I'm, our starting five's legit. Like, legit, legit. Let's see how we roll out there. Wesneski's our five. He's nasty. You know, Talion's nasty. Smiley's nasty. So, Steele's filthy as well. Like, I got all the confidence in these guys. I'm not slightly worried about uh, all the all the gimmicks or talk about best rotations in the league. Let's just get to it. Let's just see what happens this year. One more thing. Yeah, I just wanted to say, I just want to throw a, just a huge shout out to our staff, um, just our clubhouse managers. Like, I, I, I truly, like, these guys don't get enough. They're incredible here. Like, they make our life so easy. It starts with Danny, Matt, Tim, Otis, Steven, everybody in the clubhouse. I want to throw a huge thank you to our training staff, PJ, um, Nate, um, I'm going to miss a lot of guys, friends, big rub. Like, these people do so much behind the scenes. So I just want to say thank you to all those people. I work with them every single day. A reason that I'm able to go out there and do what I do today is because of them. They give me a lot of peace of mind. They put my body, they help my body to get in the elite position that it is. And I truly don't think the staff, clubhouse managers, staff, pitching coaches, Tommy, CY, Moscos, like, these people do not get enough credit. So I just want to say thank you to all of them. I think we have an incredible family dynamic here. And like I said, they, they do so much behind the scenes that allow us to go out there and perform freely. So I just wanted to say thank you to all those guys.